Emergence. Oh my god. Did we reach the end of our journey? Is this the last level? Oh wow. We are alone here in the middle of a vast emptiness. Everything must be given the breath and the giant who awakens. Probably a volcano for the giant who awakens. Help the tribe to settle in using everything the sea has to offer. Okay, so we've got an explosive tree, which I really don't want to use too much. So I'll stick that over here for now. Now, I'm assuming the giant who awakens means the mountain here, or the volcano here, which is going to be a trouble, bit of trouble eventually. Because if it keeps erupting this entire time, eventually we're going to have a pretty bad time trying to survive. Is it not giving us any more lava? Did I suck up all the... Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Volcano's good. We're good. We're, we're, we're perfectly okay. Just a volcano exploding in the middle of the map. <laughs> so much lava. It's beautiful. I love it. Too bad the lava's not actually doing anything because it's surrounded by water. Okay, so dirt then. We'll start with dirt. Gotta get to this first village. If we can get to this first village, then we can spawn more villagers if I fail and I don't have to be scared of losing the entire game again off of a single level. I really don't know how many levels there are. Is this really the last level? It's only been like three hours thus far. That'd be fairly sad. But I don't know. I, I am kind of mixed on... Um, I kind of have mixed feelings on the length of episodes like this, though. So, if, for whoever's watching, go ahead and give me some feedback. Do you guys prefer the the shorter episodes, kind of? The ones like From Dust, where it's just been a single level to a thing? Or do you prefer the longer Fire Emblem-style episodes, where we can take up to an hour on any individual level? I just... That was a dumb idea. I think that's why they gave you the explosive tree, in case you do something that makes things impassable. I do mean impassable, not impossible. Um, we do have that volcano that's continuing to grow there, though, and that's a little bit worrying to me. I'm going to get that explosive tree really quickly and um, bust down this level a little bit, since I think I may have made a terrible mistake placing that much. There, there we go. Much better. What in the world? The entire volcano just exploded and sunk itself into the earth. Huh. Is this safe to build on yet? I wonder. Can we, can we build here? No, we have to have a thing that far across. I'm getting worried. This volcano is spreading pretty quickly. If we can't get things built up in time... Have I already... Oh god, there's another volcano. There, there are two? There are two volcanoes. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I really hope there's a repel lava somewhere on this level. Because otherwise we're not going to really be able to stay here for too long. What? Are you kidding? Where is there too much... That. That water there. The water that is part of the ocean, that is on the very edge of our island. You know what? Fine. Okay. There. Better? We build here now? Where is there too much water? Where is there... Still too small an island to build a village on. You know what? Fine. We'll continue with the dirt. More dirt. More dirt everywhere. Come on. Come on. There we go. The men are on their way, finally. Jesus. Took them long enough. Okay, volcano continues to explode. I'm going to start building straight towards the next island in the meantime. I'm a little bit nervous about all this. I can put the... I can't put the exploding tree in the middle of a vol volcano? Madness is that. Okay, so what do we have here? Repel water, and do we, we have repel fire right here? Yep, repel lava and fire. So I'm going to start building that up if you can build up underneath the repel lava and fire, it'll make it that much easier to get access to it. Should really just start building towards the second village first, though. 
and towards the villages on the other side of my starting location for that matter. But getting... Really? Cyclical tsunamis are coming. Oh, God. Listen to the... Learn their rhythm by observing the icons displayed on screen. Oh, God. Amplify breath. I'm going to need that to be able to get over to the Repel Waterstone in time. I'm definitely going to need that. More lava. Good. Yeah, that's... That happens. Okay, someone please go out to that stone, get the knowledge it contains. Another person. Oh, we almost have amplified breath again. Good. Good, amplified breath. Grab all this. I'm actually going to build a wall around the volcano with its own rock. Make sure it can't go too far to begin with. But we're gonna need all this dirt that it's been dropping. And we're definitely gonna need that. Jellify water, a bit far away. Okay, and he's got the repel water knowledge that he's bringing back, good. I can start actually building out from the repel water spot. And I can start taking dirt just from this side of the volcano, so when it goes out, it goes out that side. Oh, sorry, you're probably hearing the clicking of the controller, aren't you? Let me move that away from the microphone, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so we're nearly out to the next village, but we don't have enough, to, have enough dirt at either village location to build them up yet. Can, oh, I do get infinite earth eventually. Which one is that? Is this infinite earth? Oh, that is infinite earth. Oh, okay. Hopefully we got the repel water. We did good. So, that should be able to help us quite a bit. Apparently I didn't build this wall high enough. Because the volcano is still coming out this side. And that'll be fine once I actually get repel lava and fire. But until then, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble if it starts to come out this side. I just need to build up that path underneath the repel lava and fire stone. Once I can get to it, things will be so much easier. I won't have to fear volcanoes as much. Someone's on their way? Good, good. Yes, now. Jellify water needs a lot more before I can actually build that village. I like how the actual natural progression, it's like, oh, what? you're in the middle of an ocean, what do you do? Well, you build tiny paths to each village to connect them. Eventually, once you get infinite earth and amplified breath, it'll be easy enough to just cover the entire land in plants, but until then, things are a bit more dangerous than that. Can I build a... Where's the water location? Okay, so I need to build a little bit more on... The side's closer to the volcano, looks like. Oh, not yet. No, you don't get to come around this side yet, volcano. You're getting close, but you're not quite there. Okay, breath amplified. Build up some area there. Can I finally build this village? That would be wonderful if I could. There's what? There's too much water. There's water on the island, and that's what's stopping me. That's pretty dumb. Let's rush over here. Here. That should take care of the water, right? Yeah. Build. Really? That's what's... Getting real tired of your shit, villagers. You guys need to start building even when there is a tiny fraction of an ounce of water sitting nearby. Fire. Oh, well, there's not fire there anymore, is there? 
Luckily, my main village is protected from both fire and water now. So anything that happens, I can just count on my main village to remain alive. Now, time to start building up this... Oh wait, were there explosive trees? There were, so I just exploded the entire area around the infinite earth. That was dumb. Little to no vegetation at the moment, but once we get infinite earth combined with amplified breath, we'll be more than able to just get that memory fairly easily. There we go. And I'll bet this is, that this isn't the last level, but this is really one of the first levels they're going to use, I'll bet. That's just going to say actively, you know what? You guys can... Just kinda, you know, use all your powers combined to build pads and things like that. And jellifying and using Amplify Earth here should allow me to start building up Apparently there's a little bit of water in the very middle there. Where? Can I- can I please select the village? Please? Nope, there's too much water nearby. Which is to say there's some water nearby. Though I don't see anything. Oh well. Um, can I build now? No, there's water here. Because once I can start building the village, even if it's just because there's water jellified nearby. So long as the village gets built, we can send the water protection over to it soon enough, and then we'll be fine. I just need to get my villagers to agree to build it first, and then I'll just keep building around them while they're doing this. Because, I mean, look, that's, that's still a perfectly habitable position for a village. It'll say it's under attack by water when they build it, but it's not really going to be. They're just going to be lying to me. Or wrong. Maybe not lying, but certainly wrong. Giant volcano is certainly a bit of a challenge still. But I think with only three things we're going to be able to get through, and that's where the final thing is. Okay. So I need to start building up this side of the volcano as well so it flows straight away from the exit to the level. So I'll just be able to use infinite earth once I get it to build everything else up. Some, I mean, yeah, my units are nearly here. Look at them, they're fine. They're not worried about the fire nearby or the lack thereof. And oh, there's a memory thing over there. Hold on. Let's go get that. Build it up with some lava. I mean, I'll have earth soon enough, but lava for now. Come on, nearly there. Oh, you're fine. Stop crying, you have the repel fire power. Oh no, infinite earth is under attack by water, whatever will I do? Maybe I'll use infinite earth. Hooray! It is almost like I have the ability to summon earth. There's a little bit of water there. Easy way to grab water seems to be just to go to the ocean, grab a tiny piece of water so you can't grab any earth, and then just build that up. And now whenever infinite earth and amplify breath are on together, I will just... Oh no, amplify breath I turned off by accident. Oh, turn it back on. I can just immediately build up every path around here. Maybe it's like, oh no, what's going on? Breath, you are building up our pathways a bit more. I'm worried about this. There we go. This little thing is almost revealed. In fact, it should be revealed here in a second. Uh, lava is definitely going to become a nuisance here if it doesn't stop spreading this way, though. We need to build up this side of the mountain. go, continue building. Look at that, isn't it wonderful? We've got so much there. 
Infinite Earth is now protected against fire. It'll be protected against water as well right now. Good. So we cannot lose that village anymore. Now let's turn on Infinite Earth and Amplify Breath and create a path to the exit. A path which, incidentally, our little trees will be able to grow on without issue. All that vegetation that we love so much. Lots of the water over here. Now, if I get a little bit more lava, I should be able to drop it off over by this ancestor memory, whatever they're called. And send a guy over there. Good, good. Somebody will be able to do that. And, oh god, volcano. Also, have there been tsunamis this entire time and I just haven't been noticing? Because I, I seriously haven't noticed anything. Anyway, we got a new story from the memory. So that's nice. And our volcano continues to erupt. Don't care as much about that, though. We can just keep building up this side of it. I mean, look. I could even trigger infinite earth if I wanted. And just build up this side of the mountain. Deposit tons of dirt. Ta-da! Or the volcano is just going to overflow anyway. Pass that. That's pretty dumb. It's going to be a pretty impressive volcano, though. I'm liking the look of this level. Could care less about how well my people are going to be able to survive here, but this looks amazing. 75% of the territory. Animals are now going to be here. Good. Now, infinite earth. Amplify... Oh, not jellify water. Infinite earth. There we go. And let's start getting lots of area for our homes to grow in. There seems to be a larger necessary quantity for the uh, palms to qualify for the 100% completion when you have the infinite earth ability. But I just got everything. I haven't yet gathered the one over here, so let me just help that little guy out gathering the final memory. Apparently we've got 10 seconds till a tsunami. So I'm just going to wait until that passes and then send all of my units out. Actually, no, I'm just going to jellify water and send them out anyway. Because apparently there's a tsunami, but I could really care less about that. Look at that. Yeah, there it is. Cyclical tsunamis, but we've got 50 seconds for five units to make their way to the exit. It's a race, little guys. Race for your lives. Because <laughs> if you don't make it, that tsunami is going to end you. Move them little legs. Come on. Hup two, hup two. We'll travel with the villagers this time. We will see things as they see. We'll see that they see the volcano and the massive tidal wave in the distance. Wait, why are the controls inverted this way? Oh no, they're not. It's just a bit of a weird bug. Yeah, they can barely see the lava, but they can sort of see it flowing towards their other villages. They're almost to the exit, but there's only 10 seconds left on Jellify Water. They've got to get there quickly. Because the tsunami has arrived! Oh, never mind. The tsunami died because <laughs> the Jellify Water power outlasted it. Okay, whatever. Let's go to the next level. That was actually really a really fun level, unlike the other ones where it was like where it was a lot of um, plan what you're doing and get through. This one was just all get your powers and then just build the world as you see fit. The breath is getting better at its job, man. Anyway, with that, I think we are going to cut off this episode. Next time, looks like we've got a bit of an interesting level ahead of us. Looks straightforward, but then it never is. Until then, this has been PA.